A Vancouver Island man has won one of the world's highest honors for a photojournalist. Paul Nicklin has taken top prize in the World Press Photo Contest. His lens often focuses on the beauty of his home near Nanus Bay, but his latest honor comes from the work he's done beneath the waves in Antarctica. CTV Scott Cunningham reports. Beneath a frigid sea, or freezing images in time on an icy landscape, Paul Nicklin's work seems to defy reality. But his photos of emperor penguins taken in Antarctica are very real and good enough to land him one of photography's most prestigious awards. Are you a proud mom? Yes, I am. Very proud. Last night, Paul's mother and brother learned he had won first place in the Nature Stories category of the World Press Photo Contest. He's always had a passion for nature. Getting the news to the winner was a bit more difficult. Paul is already on his way back to the Antarctic's ice fields for another adventure. But CTV was able to track the photojournalist down, and in an email he said, what an incredible thrill it is to be able to tell the stories of the polar ecosystems I am so passionate about and to have my work recognized in such a way. Paul's passion for nature and wildlife has thrived on Vancouver Island. The Nanus Bay man has a biology degree from the University of Victoria and is also an avid diver. We shared a car together and the car was always, uh, it always smelled of seaweed and, and I was trying to go out on dates and Paul was more inclined to go diving. But his family says his desire to be in the wild was born on Baffin Island where he grew up. And he would go hunting with the Inuit and whether it was for seal, walrus, he loved it and that was his passion. And um, I think he began kind of rooting for the animals at an older age. Paul may have hunted as a child. Now the only trigger he pulls is one connected to a camera. It's about photojournalism. Photo it's about getting the message out that, that we do have an issue uh, with our wildlife in the Arctic and, and we are losing uh, ice and, and the whole ecosystem around that. The Vancouver Island man said his photos should be a reminder of how precious and fleeting Arctic ecosystems are. And he hopes his shots will allow all of us to see through the same lens he does. Scott Cunningham, CTV News, Qualicum Beach.